Thank you for your trust in Buckstop fly screen. You will need the following tools to assemble your Buckstop fly screen. A hammer, a pencil, a pair of scissors, a metric band and a saw. First of all, open the packaging and check the content. You should have the spline, the accessory kit, the brush, caution the brush might be optional, the mesh, the aluminium profiles, the kick plate, and the fitting instruction. Regarding the profiles, you should have three short profiles and two longer profiles. Now let's check the accessory kit as well. You should have one handle, two brackets for the transverse profile, one door stop, one spring, four corners, three hinges, and a small plastic bag with screws and rope plugs. Now take at least three reference measurements in width, one at the bottom, one in the center and one at the top of the opening that you wish to cover. Caution, out of the three dimensions, note down the smallest one. To know where exactly you have to cut the profiles in width, you first have to check the yellow sticker on the packaging. We see that the sticker mentions a total width of 130cm. We've previously measured 110cm in width. Before doing any calculation, you first have to know whether the product has to be recess fitted or face fitted. If the fly screen is recess fitted, we calculate that 130 cm minus 110 cm equals 20 cm. You will then have to cut 20 cm of the profiles in width in case the product is recess fitted. However, in case the product has to be face fitted, you will have to reduce this size by 5 cm. In our example, 20 cm minus 5 cm equals 15 cm. You would then have to cut 15 cm of the profiles in width in case the product is face fitted. So, to summarize, if the product is recess fitted, cut 20 cm of the profiles in width. If the product is face fitted, cut 15 cm of the profiles in width. In our example, we will consider that the product is face fitted and cut 15 cm of the profiles. You can now mark the three short profiles and the kick plate at 15 cm. And you can now cut through the three short profiles and the kick plate. Now take at least three reference measurements in height, one on the left side, one in the middle and one on the right side of the opening that you wish to cover. Caution, out of these three dimensions, note down the smallest one. To know where exactly you have to cut the profiles and height, you first have to check the yellow sticker on the packaging. We see that the sticker mentions a total height of 245cm. We've previously measured 210cm in height. Before doing any calculation, you first have to know whether the product has to be recess fitted or face fitted. If the product is recess fitted, we calculate that 245 cm minus 220 cm equals 25 cm. You would then have to cut 25 cm of the profiles in height in case the product is recess fitted. However, in case the product has to be face fitted, you will have to reduce this size by 5 cm. In our example, 25 cm minus 5 cm equals 20 cm. You would then have to cut 20 cm of the profiles and height in case the product is face fitted.
So to summarize, if the product is resus-fitted, got 25 cm of the profiles and height, and if the product is face-fitted, got 20 cm of the profiles and height. In our example, we will consider that the product is face-fitted and will cut 20 cm of the profiles. You can now mark the two long profiles at 20 cm. And we cut through both profiles. We will now assemble the frame. You will need therefore both brackets for transverse profiles, the four corners and the hammer. So, first insert both brackets into each end of the transverse profile. Now insert the corners into the top and bottom profile. You can use a hammer, but be careful not to break the plastic parts. Now insert the transverse profile into the side profiles, thanks to the groove that is located in the inside of the side profiles. Now insert the top and bottom corners so that the frame is assembled. Glide the brushes into the external groove of each profile. Caution, these brushes might be optional. Now display the mesh on the back side of the frame. Caution, before you insert the mesh. Make sure that the frame is perfectly squared and maintained squared, with clamps for example. Now you can insert the mesh into the groove thanks to the spline and the plastic insert tool. In order to assure the best tension of the mesh we will proceed as follow. First of all insert the spline right below the first corner. Insert it into the first profile without tensioning the mesh with your hand. When inserting the spline into the following side of the frame, don't tension the mesh with your hand either and leave the mesh just its position on its own. From the third side, tension the mesh with your hand while inserting the spline and go on tensioning and inserting the spline with the fourth side. This way you will make sure to get the best mesh tension for your fly screen. You can now cut the exceeding mesh. Make sure not to cut the spline, therefore we recommend you cut right over the spline. You can now fix the bottom kick plate to the back side of the fly screen thanks to the provided self threading screws. You can also fix the handle to the transverse profile. It will be face fitted or recess fitted. In both cases we will fix one hinge at each end and one hinge in the center. Caution, make sure to fix the top and bottom hinge at at least 10 cm of the very end of the profile. Now take the top side of each hinge. In case the product is face fitted, fix the top side of the hinge to the side of the profile. And in case the product is recess fitted, fix the hinge to the front side of the profile. In case the product is recess fitted, fix the bottom side of the hinges into the reveal. In this case you can choose to fix the spring either frontally to the wall or in the reveal. And you can now fit the product. In case the product is fitted frontally, fix the bottom part of each hinge frontally to the wall. Fix the spring frontally as well, so that the spring always pressures the transverse profile. Now you can also adjust the height of the transverse profile to make sure that the spring always pressures that profile. Now fix the doorstop frontally or into the reveal depending on the fitting type of the fly screen. Your hinge door fly screen is now fitted. Always use a wet cloth to clean your box top fly screen. You can also clean the profiles with alcohol to remove strong stains. Thank you for your trust in box top fly screens.